my life when I was really embarrassed of my state. There's nothing wrong with being poor, but I also told myself that I want to be that kid in Manila who can't prove to the rest of the world that you can never be too small to dream big. That if you want something so bad in your life, the only enemy of the ambitious is time. And this is what I always tell about people of my age in today's generation. You have all technology to provide you to make you successful. If in the next five or 10 years, you don't make it big, I think it's already partially your fault. And it's a matter of the consequences of choices that you make today in your life. So that's my background. I'd like to share four quick lessons in this quick talk. And the first thing that I would like to share is this. You don't need to say yes to every opportunity of success. After having been part of the Apprentice Asia and having worked for Tan Sri Tony Fernandez, I realized, next one, success also requires knowing when and how to say no. So can I get a raise of hands here? Who here has a to-do list of what he needs to accomplish every day, like a diary or organizer? Hello? <laughs> Come on, guys, don't be shy. All right. And doesn't it feel great, no? Does it feel like you're a superman if you're able to cross out everything, right? A superman or a wonder woman. And if you're not able to cross out those lists, you feel you're less of a person, right? We all do feel that. But humanity and research tells us that scientifically, mankind can only accomplish one to two, three things at the same time. Trying to force to accomplish so many things in your life will only make you weaker because you're spreading yourself too thin on so many things. I personally believe that the jack of all trades is dead in the 21st century. The successful people, and I'm talking about you guys, the young ones, who are just about to paint that blank canvas as you graduate from school, trying to become so many things at the same time, I'd like to believe will get you nowhere. And this is where media is telling us wrong things. The media tells us that we can become a Taylor Swift, a Mark Zuckerberg, or a Mahatma Gandhi all at the same time. But really, what we need is to focus on one big thing, make a good name out of it, and work hard on it for many, many years. I'd like to make some anecdotes about this. So imagine this, guys. Imagine, let's all imagine one scenario. Let's, let's pretend we are in the scene of Grey's Anatomy a TV series about doctors. Imagine there are five doctors and there's a bus in front of you that's just about to crash. And after it crashed, you see 40 passengers. Some of them may have died, some of them may have lost a limb, some of them may have lost something in their body. And if you're one of those five doctors, in reality, what's the first thing you're supposed to do as an SOP? Can anyone make a shout out? Can you guess? There's only five doctors, there are 40 passengers. Your responsibility is to save the lives. What's, your, what's that one thing you're supposed to do? Shout outs? You prioritize, yes? All right, call back up. But let's pretend that there are only five because most hospitals don't have much doctors anyway. You call for, okay, let's say you're the only five guys, really. Right? Let's pretend. And in most situations, in terms of wars, calamities, you can't ask for help in the next three hours. Right? This is reality. Most of the situations, we ha don't have enough to help for everyone. And in the medical world, we call this in a French term as triage. Triage is a French term which means to filter. It means that in terms of calamities, wars, disasters, when there are too many patients demanding medical attention, we have to regretfully and painfully abandon those people who will die anyway. For those people who will likely survive and are important to survive, we give them the utmost priority. That's triage. Successful people, whether in the corporate world or in the government world, are those who know how to practice triage. And life is like this. We have so many things bombarding us we receive a message on WhatsApp, we receive an email, a phone call, and all these things, we feel compelled that we have to accomplish them. But really, we need to learn how to say no because not all of them are really wildly important for success. I'm gonna give you some anecdotes about this. All right, that's triage, next slide again. If you look at these successful people, guys, you look at 
the most successful and richest Asian today, Jack Ma, Richard Branson, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett. If you look at their biographies and what they wrote in their books, there is one thing that makes them all together in one common mystery for success. And Warren Buffett says it best. And he says, for every 100 opportunities presented to me, I decline to 99 of them and focus only on one big thing. Becoming too ambitious and accomplishing so many things will lead me nowhere. The same thing happens with Steve Jobs. If you go to an Apple store today, how many things can you buy? Shout outs, anyone? What can you buy in an Apple store today? An iPhone, an iPad, an iPod, a Mac, accessories, less than 10. But if you look at all the things that make them in common, Apple is literally selling only one big thing that which they have been perfecting for the past 20 years. And what is that? Okay, but they also have an iPad. What are they selling? What's common among all these things? All right, the iOS, right? You put an iOS into a phone, it becomes an iPhone. You put an iOS into a tablet, it becomes an iPad. You put an iOS into a watch, it becomes an iWatch. If you put an iOS into a table, it can become an iTable. And that's how it works. Because Apple knows that they should only focus on one big thing and make a good name out of it. For the past 20 years, even if they have 12,458 patents in the US, which could have been any product or service, Steve Jobs or Tim Cook, the new CEO said, we will not focus on too many things. Because becoming too ambitious, doing everything at the same time, will only make us weaker. They focus on one big thing, and that is the iOS. I'm gonna give you further anecdotes about this. And Steve Jobs was asked the question, Steve, what is one thing you're very proud of in Apple today? And he says, I am as proud of what we don't do as I am with what we do. Deciding what not to do is as important as deciding what to do. In other words, it's not a question of the quantity of the things that you do. It's the quality in the end. I don't care if you're a salesman and you've talked to 10,000 clients. If you're not supposed to be talking to them because they're the not the right customers, then you fail in your game. I'm gonna give another anecdote. My favorite story is the story handed down to me by Tan Sri Tony Fernandez. In 1993, Delta Airlines of United States had one cabin crew member who said, Boss, you notice this green lettuce that we serve to passengers? I don't think people eat them anyway. It's a waste of money, and whenever you put them in the garbage, it easily rots and smells bad inside the plane. So may I please suggest to take it out? Management at first was very, very hesitant, but they heeded to the advice. And so in the first three months after they took out the lettuce, either the passengers did not notice that the lettuce was gone, in fact, some of them thought that the plate looked cleaner. And so management said, let's continue this for a year. And in one year, just by taking out the lettuce in all the plates of their passengers, Delta Airlines saved 1.4 million US dollars. Imagine, guys, how a small thing led to a big change. But the moral lesson is here. Just like Delta Airlines, we all are like that. We have that one thing we thought is important, but really it's not. And the only way to succeed is to let it go. And so my question to you guys, do you have that lettuce in your life today that you thought was important? But really, if you let it go, it can lead you to success. Remember, for every no that you say, it gains you a yes to something else. And that, yes, must lead you for a better success in life.